So there's one mistake of using the layout component to actually check whether the user has signed in or not. Could have potentially cracked open my product. So as you can see, this product is a Next.js app router application. And this is the product that I'm talking about. So on the surface, it looks that everything might be right. it will show you. So for example, to access any protected resource, you'll have to sign in and only then you'll be able to sign in and only then you'll be able to access that resource. Now, once you've signed in, this is what it looks like. And this dashboard technically should only be accessible to people who have signed in. So let's see, let's try accessing it inside a, a browser where I'm not logged in. Right, great. I get a authentication check redirected to my sign in, which is what we expect. Or even if I, when I open a model, I won't be able to see it inside a incognito tab or in any browser where I'm not logged in. Right? Yeah, as expected. Now, what do you expect will happen when I try to ask for this, this route, specifically this route using a HTTP client like Postman say? Let's see. So this is the route that I have. And if I send a request, then yeah, over here, even over here, I get the sign in that that is what is rendered over here. But what will happen when I add the RSC header inside this request? That is where the magic happens. Or rather I say, rather I should say the security flaw in my application. Boom. You can actually see the whole data being rendered over here inside uh, the format that Next.js uses to actually render the page. So as you can see over here, it has literally everything. Like this has all the prompts that I use to generate my photos and the URLs to those photos, the, the model URLs and everything. It just has everything. Now, why does this happen? So the reason that we are able to see this is something to do with Next.js and the way that it renders layouts. So in Next.js, whenever I traverse from one route to another, for example, let's say I'm on settings and it traverse to analytics. What Next.js will do is that it will preserve the layout component inside that share segment. And the only thing that is rendered or re-rendered are the pages. So this settings page will be re-rendered and this analytics page will be re-rendered whenever I switch between them. And not the layout that is being shared. That is the shared segment. That will not be re-rendered. So what, what happens internally inside Next.js is that whenever you send a request, it has two different mechanisms to render the layout separately. That is the dashboard layout separately and the dashboard setting, the page which you're visiting separately. So it has a separate mechanism going for rendering the layout and then returning it and then rendering the page and then returning it. And then that is what goes back to you as the user, which makes sense. So the second time that you ask for a new page, that is the analytics page, say, then what will happen is that it will only return that it will only run this page function because it is, it already knows that you have already run this layout component. So, which means that rendering the page is not dependent on rendering the layout. So this notion that we have in our mind that the layout is very similar or exactly like a middleware is, is probably wrong because that is a mental model that we all form, right? Like the layout is something that which runs before every render that is happening inside my page, or it is sort of a middleware that will protect my resources. But as you can see, it clearly is not because next year does not actually depend on running the layout on and the page together. That's not the way it works. So this is not a security flaw or a bug inside Next.js. Rather, this is a feature because you want to preserve everything that is, that is staying the same. You want to do that. And this is probably one of the best ways that you can do that. Right? All right. So what is the solution for this? How can I actually prevent this from happening in my application? So there are actually two solutions which you can try out if you're facing the same issue. And I'm going to implement one of them because one of them is clearly better. So the first solution is to actually implement a database call whenever you're rendering the page and not the layout. So in every page that you're rendering, you have a database call where you check whether the user is authenticated and authorized to actually access that resource. 
and yeah that works pretty well and that is one of the reasons that my application is for the most part very secure because i am making a lot of database calls that are, that are, that where i'm checking whether the user is authorized and authenticated to actually view that page so that makes my application relatively safe but it's not 100% safe so what is a better solution for this well a more robust and a more reliant solution for this would be to use the actual middleware that nextjs provides us because that is what it is meant to do so that's what i'm going to implement inside my application now since this is not a middleware tutorial i'm not going to be implementing it on camera but just in case a lot of you like say a hundred of you want to see middleware and want to know more about it or how i implemented it inside my application you can drop a comment and then i'll surely make a video on it and that's been all from my side uh, stay safe keep your application safe and yeah i'll see you